Hello, this is a brief description of the version 1 of the Slip.7 algae scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration. It's a combination Cato reactor, waterfall scrubber, and upflow scrubber. And this is the 0.7 size, which means it's designed for up to feeding of 0.7 frozen cubes of food per day. Uh, for the scrubber version, waterfall or upflow scrubber version, and up to 0.3 frozen cubes of food per day if you're going to be operating in just the Cato uh, configuration. So anyway, we'll go through the basics here, and then there'll be more updated versions later on which have more detail, but these are the basics. Okay, so here you have your basic container. Everything's inside here. You have one Gem 5 light, which is easily replaceable. It goes right here on the inside. This is the airflow fed from the top, if you want to feed your airflow into the top. Uh, or you can feed the airflow in from the bottom. There's a connector right here. Uh, they serve the same purpose. They just go into a different place, depending upon how much space you have in your compartment. And uh, here's the water flow in if you want to feed in water to the waterfall and this is fed from the top and here's the water flow in from the bottom if you want to feed it from the bottom again it just depends upon how much space and what your configuration is in your aquarium and this is mostly designed for the back of a nano compartment where you have almost no space at all so the uh, cord obviously goes out this is the power cord for the gem 5 light and uh, also if you need feet because if you want to lift this up so that you have more of a waterfall inside, you just plug in the feet like this. And uh, you can, they're flexible to move around things, and they fit in the back of your Nano. And then you can cut them easily because they're just plastic, and then they will fit how high you need to adjust your waterfall. Okay, so um, the top compartment here is opened up. with this little cover, little flexible cover. And uh, if you don't want to use a water pump, but you still want to have a waterfall or Cato reactor, then what you can do is just put this on your overflow of your display. Just pretend this is your display wall. And here's the grating where the waterfall comes, where the water comes out of the waterfall of your display. And uh, you can just set this here and it will just drain right into it and it will it will go down as the waterfall goes down just as if you were feeding it with the water hose. So anything you're not using you can disconnect. If you're not using the water hose here or here or you're not using the airline here or the airline here you can just disconnect and get those out of the way and have nothing but just this sitting on your overflow that flows right into here. So uh, if you want to see the screen, the screen comes out over here we can see it better and so this is your Green Grabber uh, 3D printed screen and uh, it's reversible and it's interchangeable like this, okay? And the reason it does that is so that you can adjust it for low light or high light depending upon what you're needing. Uh, so the light, the gym light's on this side so it's shining this way. So if you have the screen this way this blocks the light and gives you low light. And if you turn it this way, you have nothing blocking the light and you have high light going to your screen. So that's adjustable there. And you have Kato spikes. The Kato spikes stick out from the screen. And that way if you want to use this as Kato, you put the Kato inside and it will hold and it will pull out with the screen when you pull that out. So we're going to plug this into as the highlight version. Okay, the tubing. If you want to use this tubing here, the tubing comes down and the airflow comes out of the little cuts into the tubing here and goes up the screen on both sides of the screen. And if you want to use this, there's a little compartment on the bottom. Here's your tubing comes in, it bubbles up both sides of the screen right here. And that just slides in like this. And again, you don't have to have any of these, you can disconnect whatever you don't want. You can leave this out. You can disconnect this. This is just a tubing that goes in and up and it feeds the water feed. So the water feed from the top comes out here. The water feed from the bottom comes up here. And then of course here's your gem light. And we have a new gem light 
lighting reduction, uh, uh, which you call a lighting uh, reducer. You can also be including it with other gym lights, but it just snaps onto the light like this. Because the light is so powerful that you need to reduce it here, and sometimes reduce it here when the screen is new. So, if you want to set this up as a, the easiest way to set it up is as a overflow feed with nothing else. So there you go. You just put this under your overflow in your Nano, the water falls out, goes into here, and the waterfall comes out the bottom. And then you have your screen. You can see that this has holes in it, so the waterfall just comes into here and drains into the screen. Okay? And so you wouldn't need this either. You would take this off, disconnect this, pull that out, and see so you wouldn't need you wouldn't need this at all. You just take that out, take off the cap at the end here. This comes up like that. And so you have just your top plate like that. So that's the waterfall only configuration. Water's going to go down, it's going to come out the bottom. You have your light, your power supply here. Power supply has two connectors. You can actually power two of these side by side. Like that. And uh, you plug it in. Now depending upon how much red light you want to allow in the back of your nano compartment, that will determine whether or not you're going to use the pieces down here and whether or not you're going to use the legs and and uh, how much light you have in your room and things like that. So, the gem light easily comes out like this. Okay, These are the same gem lights on our rain scrubbers and that we sell separately too. So if you want to do a waterfall feed with the tubing, I think many people will want to do it that way. You're not going to need the air tubing, so you're just going to use the water tubing. And so if you're going to have a separate pump into your sump compartment, and all you want to do is feed the pump up to the top, you're just going to connect up the water hose to the top fitting here. And then that's just going to feed water in. It's going to drain down, come out the bottom. Very simple. If you prefer, or if you don't have room on the top and you want to feed it from the bottom, you'll connect it to the bottom connector here. They both do the same thing. They feed to the top of the waterfall in. Okay. Now, if you don't want waterfall, if you want to use only bubble upflow, then of course you can use the bottom plate here, which has the tubing here. That's going to slide in like that. Or you can leave that in and not use it, just, just use it to block the light. And then just use the top. Okay, so that's going to come out. And if you're going to feed in from here, again, you're just going to feed this down. Connect here. This is going to have your little plug at the end of it. This is going to go in here like this. Right at the top. Okay, so that's how you're going to use air tubing from the top. Now you can do any combination of those. You can have a waterfall on the top and bubbles on the bottom. Now if you only want Kato only and you don't want any waterfall, then you don't have to use this at all. You can leave this screen out. Leave the screen out because the only purpose the screen's going to have with Kato only is going to be the spikes. Now you might like those spikes, 
or you may not want any spikes at all. So if you don't want any spikes at all, then just put it in like this. And then you have the option of using the bottom or not, depending on how much light you want to get. This is all about the light, just keeping the light in. And there you go. You can have your Kato compartment inside. You're going to have your light uh, there on the side here. And then you just remove the whole thing and take it to your sink or just reach in with something to grab the Kato and pull the Kato out. And Kato can come out the bottom or out the top, just depending on how you want to do that. So, it comes with the four legs. They plug in here and you can cut them to make them how long you need and they'll fit around fittings and hoses and stuff in the back of your compartment. Comes with the gem light shield for the light and that way you can when brand new you always want to use this you want to put your light cover in like that and comes with the top cover here so you can put this in like this snaps in like that Still has access to your wire, still has access to your top fed water right there, but blocks all the light coming out from the top. So there'll be a little bit of light, but not as much as if you had this out like that. Okay, so that comes with it. And um, power supply with uh, two connectors. You only need one connector for a slip point seven. The other connector would be for another slip point seven if you wanted to run two in the back of your Nano. And uh, that just about rounds it out. And we'll have other videos coming up soon with more details on the next version of this Slip Point 7.